Hey everybody, welcome back to Daddy's Gaming Adventures. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're continuing this series, this awesome game. Uh, before we get started, real quick, I wanted to show um, how to save your game. Go to the system menu, save, save your progress. You can then later on, of course, load a game. And there are auto saves that happen periodically. But the fact that you can do a save state anytime you're ready is very handy. So options, and then I refer to the DLC. Um, the chest we found looks like the purchase bonus for the expansion pass. Three special treasure chests containing exclusive expansion pass items are now available on the Great Plateau. So we found one of them, and there's two more during our travels that we will uh, find, and there's all kinds of other uh, good stuff there. And those are our basic controls for our controller. Alright, so when we left off, we were... We found some... whoops. <laughs> we found some spicy peppers. sauteed peppers grants low-level cold resistance. The spiciness of these sauteed peppers has been broken by the heat for a sweeter taste. Alright, let's... Do a couple more of those. wonder if I mix it with a... mushroom. What happens to that? Spicy fruit and mushroom mix, and it gives a little bit more cold resistance. Okay, that is good. And then I saw something. Okay, so if you want to sit by the fire, you can choose time of day, but it's still morning, so we will uh, do that. So we had our stamella strooms. Reveals some of your stamina meal. Okay. Not a lot, but oops, I didn't mean to do that. And if we cook up some monster parts, okay, we get an elixir. Energizing elixir restores your stamina is used when performing physical actions such as climbing walls or swimming. Alright, I think we are ready to go. So I'm looking for the... Yellow. Which is this way. Come here, buddy! Well, simply not give it away, you see. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put in the effort. How did we get over there? Aha! Uh -huh. I think we need to chop down a tree, shall we? How you doing? What's oh, that stick? Oh no. He is a goner. 
All right. Hmm, this looks like a bomb, bomb of a wall. So bombs must be something else we're gonna we're gonna have here. Get all the way up here, but it's worth a shot, right? When you're climbing, you're gonna want to find. Well, this doesn't appear to be it. Find a landing to stand on. Kind of like when we drop down. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work too well. Okay. Spear. A spear haphazardly carved from a large tree branch. It looks like its original intent was for skewering meat and cooking it, but it does have some combat merit as well. So we've got to clean up. So we only have limited slots here with our inventory. Now I'm going to get rid of the arm and go with the spear. That side of maybe I want to get up. There we go. Still looks like a really tall climb. Okay, we still got our food. get up this place. That's kind of crazy. So I've got the right idea, I'm just not sure how to get up there.
Take your dinner. And whatever's in this treasure chest that I've activated. Okay, pick up all the parts. Throwing spear. Specialized spear weighted to excel as a throwing weapon. It's perfectly balanced to be thrown farther than your average spear, able to pierce targets from a great distance. Oh, temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth soon or you will take damage. So this is where our... Where's our spicy peppers? Spicy sautéed peppers. Alright, that gives me two and a half minutes of cold resistance. I've got a couple more meals. Hey boys, what you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna try out that Boko spear. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But the reach is Combat in this game is pretty fun so far. I'm sure as we get into more challenging enemies, we will uh, have some trouble with that. But which way are we going? Thank <laughs> you. 
that's the green shrine. Where is... That's where I just came from. Ah, I see it. Safely climb down. Oh. Oh, a dime shrine. But we got our first game over. Continue from last save. Oh, my goodness. Gotta be careful. Gotta climb down those, uh, those hills there. Okay, not too bad. I'm down. Those of you that may be playing along, what are you, what controller are you playing this game with? I am currently playing with a 8 bit Do Super Nintendo Super Famicom uh, gamepad. Ooh, what is that? Let's check that out later. But I've also played this with the Power A's version of the Pro Controller and the the Joy-Cons themselves. There we go. Oh, a dime shrine. And now we've got a warp point and we can fast travel to this place going forward. It's nice. screens are much faster, which is really nice. You think about the total gameplay of this game by the time we're done, that'll maybe save a couple hours. What do we got here? To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Owadaim. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Stasis trial. Tablet, see what we got. She got slight authenticated. Distilling rune. So this great plateau is like the tutorial world for the game. It shows you how to basically how to do pretty much everything you're gonna do, all the runes and the shrines and it's really really good uh, stuff here. Stasis. Stop the flow of time. You can switch rooms quickly. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Alright, so we've got to cross this bridge, so I believe we need to... Stasis, there we go. It only exists for a limited amount of time, as you'll see here. idea, but I will get the next one when it comes out. So these look like they're flowing one at a time. Oops. Come on, man.
there. I got a treasure chest up here. Hurry up. Traveler's shield, a sturdy shield loved by many an adventurer. It's made of animal hide and sturdy wood and is best suited for defending against weak monsters or animals. The inventory is full. Okay, well what we are going to do is we're going to get rid of this pot lid. Bye bye. And now we've got a trap machine. Sledgehammer. This large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it works reasonably well as a weapon, too. I see what we gotta do. Okay. We've got a stasis. This ball here. Hit it. Look at our sledgehammer. Resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. do say the same uh, message pretty much every time. There's the old man's house. I was using stamina as I'm climbing down, too. Okay. Oh, 
oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not going to work, Shep, is it? But I just remembered we do have our fast travel ability. So let's do that. I want to tackle the green one next. We accidentally showed off one of the attributes. Oh, you're here, huh? Hmm. Two more, he said. Hmm. Having trouble finding the shrines? No, I'm good. <laughs> Wonderful. Just two more until you can have my paraglider. Wasn't that lovely. All right. So we're heading in the direction of the green one, which is this way. Switch up my weapon. Jamba Shrine. <laughs> Alright, I'm attempting to keep these episodes to 30 minutes. We will go a little bit longer here, see if we can tackle the bomb trial. Bombs. Bomb can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube bombs. To use whichever best fits the situation. Perfect. So we drop it with A and throw it with R. We detonate with F. Chest. Travel. 
Traveler's Claymore, a basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can knock enemy shields right out of their hands. The inventory is already full. Alright, I'm sure this torch is going to come in handy at a later time, but for now. Yep. Drop it in the cylinder. Amber, a fossilized resin with caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component of decorations and crafting since the ancient times. Third shrine complete. The power of the goddess, the resourcefulness, the promise of a hero. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. If you're enjoying this series like I am, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really helps out. And um, thanks so much for watching. We will continue the next episode and get the fourth shrine and hopefully get that paraglider unless the old man has something else up his sleeve that's gonna do it thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next episode legend of zelda breath of the wild <laughs>